I'm not a public speaker. <laughs> I, uh, a lot of people don't know me, and some people do. I've been coming here for the past few months, and the family's been here on and off. And I've struggled. And I came to terms that I was wrong, and that I needed to walk more towards God. And I continuously moved forward. But I kept hitting this wall. I figured out what it was last night, and I didn't think anything about it. When I came in, before this all happened, I actually woke up at 1 o'clock last night. I was told to go through my things and get rid of things. So I go for it. And I have a friend here that actually witnessed this. I had no ability to stop. Things I knew I needed to save, or at least the thought, because I'd have it later. Yes. God told me I don't need that. Amen. Right. Amen. But the thing is, I realized that when we go to church, we hear these sermons, we keep speaking to ourselves and hearing things. And we want to keep telling ourselves that we're there. But you're never there. Amen. Right. It's a continuous walk. Amen. But the fact is that what's stopping us from God is us. That's right. That's right. <laughs> when I walked in, I sit back there with my mom and my friend. I sit back there every day. I come in here. And I got told to walk. And I did. I started singing. And then I started feeling something. And then I kid you not, all the power to my legs stopped. Got my eyes closed, and then I bumped myself on that. It's the first step. If I didn't need to write singing up here, I kept saying, you need to walk up there. And I said, yeah, no, that's, that's not me. That's not me. I'll do this. I'm, I'm scared of this. That's right. All right. I'm, I'm scared of looking at all you in the face because this, this is me being me. But the fact is, God told me, there's some people here that aren't being truthful. You're hiding. You're hiding how you really feel because honestly, we come to church and we want to see each other happy. We want to see our loved ones or family because sometimes... You're put in circumstances you don't understand. It might be addiction, it might be abuse, it might be something terrible. But you bury it. You put a smile on, you come to church, and you think, I'm with my family, that's all that matters. But the fact is, God knows. All right. Yeah, that's right. Amen. God knows exactly what's going on. And the more you fight it, he's going to drag it. He's going to drag you, and he's going to make you see that you don't know what you're talking about. You'll keep coming, you'll keep seeing, you'll keep fighting, and you'll go down this path, and you'll you'll realize Facebook, Instagram, all these things, they just, they're, they tie you down. That's right. Raiders. Right. Yeah. I'm part of this new generation, and that's that's all we do, Facebook, Instagram, everything. I, I got rid of all that. The only thing I have left is Instagram. That's because I like seeing my family, my church, my, my church, my close friends, but all that stuff they post, I just don't care for. It's, it's not godly. We keep pushing each other into this, this, this thing. It's not, it's not God. My generation needs to step away from it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But the fact of it is, before we do this, we need to come to terms who we are. All right. All right. All right. Because if you keep burying things, you're never going to walk up your journey. That's right. You're going to come up here and you're going to get half of it. But until you truly give yourself and really show your true being. Really give it to God. Really prove. And not just us, but other people. Because the people, we want to bury things. That's that's what human nature is. Let's just bury it, move on. Let's pray about it. It's fine. But the fact of it is, until you really confront and give it to God, you're never going to get over it. The, the fact of it is, though, this one I'm shaking. I don't look it over me. I, I don't know what's going on right now. All I know is that I was told to step up here and call more than one person out right now. There's somebody here, and I don't know if it's addiction, abuse, lies. Somebody here is I. God told me to call you out. I don't want you to come up here. And I'm sorry because I know he's got a good message today, and I feel it. And I know the praise team did great this morning, and I feel it. I feel the spirit in this house more strong than I have in a while. And I'm overcome with it, but I'm telling you, somebody here is scared to admit what they've done, who they are. 
they need to drag it. Drag it to this altar and pray. Don't be judged because we are the children. And until you bring up your issues and truly give yourself to God, you will not be part of You will follow, but you will not be the true part. So why don't we do this? Some of you who are just want to come up and help pray, why don't you come on up? That way people don't feel afraid to come up. Just some of you come on up and pray. That way when people come up, they're not, they're matter surrounded fact, by people that love them. Matter of fact, I have a real good idea. Get out of your seats. Move this way. Everybody. You need you needed to get out of your seats a little bit anyway, didn't hurt you? Come on down here, man. Come on, get close, because somebody behind you needs to get in. Come on. It's all right. There's somebody in the future that's just kind of gather in with us. Okay? Good. Let me ask you a question. Do you feel like that there's probably everybody here that in one way or another is hiding something that they need to come forward with? And maybe, maybe you've been transparent before the Lord today. And if that's you, then, then I just want you to close your eyes and pray with the rest of us, okay? But right now, Brother Andrew brings, brings a fresh word from the Lord at this moment. And God, God sees. Yes, Lord. God sees where you're at. And God knows the condition of your heart. Yes. And God loves you even though you may have been the biggest mess up last night or last week. You may have, you may have, you may have hit rock bottom. But I got good news for you. God loves you. He loves you enough to call you out. So as your heads are bowed and your eyes are closed and we're going before the Lord right now, I just want you to say this, Lord, I confess my faults. You know my heart. You know where I've been. You know what I've done. It's not hidden from you. And you still love me. Today, I give my heart to you. 100%. Nothing held back. I'm yours totally. And today, I repent. And I come home. Be my father. Be your child in Jesus' name. Now raise your hand and give the Lord a shout of praise. Thank you, my friend. This altar come, uh, altar call come on behalf of a young man that just got with God. Aren't you glad for that? Let's give him a round of applause. You can return to your seats. We've got a couple more things we're going to do today. I've got one very special thing that we're going to have today that we're excited about. But I want you to, uh, while you're all up and about, would you find two or three people just shake, shake their hand, hug them?